Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club and Schroeder Skywalker from the DFS Club. We just wanted to say Happy New Year. Yay. 2020 is over. Deleted. Delete. 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 It's over, Schroeder. The worst year of all time. It's 2021. So. Let's get this bread. We're going to kick it off right. Great. Had a great uh, slate. Two out of my three lineups that I posted for the family cash. Um, one of, of my three FanDuel cash. And then my morning slate cash easily. So another great day for myself. Um, members only podcast again was just straight fire. LT, DFS space, myself have a members only podcast. One hour before lock, guys. Um, we nailed the value this this slate. It was just, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. The members love it, guys. Um, if you're, this is, I think, the last day? I think. Let me bring it up here, guys. It's going to be uh, dfsclub.com, guys. Holiday sales are still up. 20 more hours left. Less than a day. Sorry, 18 hours. Wait till you see these prices, guys. You get every single sport, not just NBA. You get NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, esports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. Click the Join Now button. Click on my logo, Skywalker DFS, and look at these prices, guys. If you're new to the video, you've never seen this before. $10 a month is what we were originally at. The six-month and year memberships never been this cheap ever in history of the dfs club look at these prices guys we're giving it away so you know why because we don't care we don't care we're not trying to get rich we're not trying to swindle no one we're just trying to build a the largest community out there and we have the most fun like these members only podcasts are worth price of admission alone but you get access to all my cheat sheets all my lineups that's right my lineups Ownership, projections, guys, you name it. NHL's come right around the corner. Yeah, all haven't played NHL DFS yet. Man, that's easy money. So come check us out, guys. DFSclub.com. All right, so let's get into it. It is a large 10-game slate. There is value. So we off the bat, we already know that. There's some players that will be out. Uh, Westbrook should be out. Uh, Blake Griffin's out. Um, Let's see who else. Let's go down the line here. This is Draft Dashboard, by the way, guys. This is my sponsor. If you want this exact tool, the optimizer, it's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys. You get access to all my player pools, uh, all my save lineups, the sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat. It's got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value, guys. This is a draft dashboard. It looks like Derek White is going to be back. Um, and these Bulls, these Bulls value guys are back in play because the Bulls are no Lori marketing. They're going to be so shorthanded. They're going, they're up against it though against Milwaukee. It's a 14 and a half point spread. So major, major blowout implications. But don't you dare be sour because. We're, let's get through it. Let's just let's just get right to it. Let's go to the position optimizer. All right. So again, no Russell Westbrook. So it's Bradley Beal day, but we'll get there. Trey Young is over 10K, 10.1K. Now the matchup against Brooklyn is fantastic. The last time these two guys played, these two guys, these two teams, it was like 145 to 150 was the final score. Um, Trey Young last time against Brooklyn got 53 fantasy points, guys. Again, I really like them. I like the matchup. It'll be a very fast-paced game and lots of points to be had. So Trey Young at 10-1, get him in there. LeBron James, we'll see if he plays or not. If him and AD play, I have no interest at all in these Lakers. Um, Damian Lillard's interesting because he's 9-8. His price has finally come down. It was, what, 10K? I could be wrong. But let's face it, he hasn't had the best season so far. However. 
Those of us that live here in Oakland in the Bay Area know his history against Golden State. He's from Oakland. Last time I played Golden State, a 92, a 62, 52, 53, 39. He turns it up against the Warriors, guys. 9.8K. Damian Lillard, get him in there. He'll probably be very, very low owned. Steph Curry, 9.6K, also in play. Against Portland, 77 the last time he played him. Unbelievable. And then a 49. So, Steph Curry at 9-6, get him in there. Kyrie at 9-3, you already know. He started out that game, was missing every shot. Um, don't look for that to happen again because it's Kyrie freaking Irving, guys. If he would have been hitting those shots early, he could have easily had a 50, 60-point game. So, 9-3 Kyrie. Get them in there. So, like me, guys, I play a maximum like three lineups, which I do give to all my members. Um, so, yeah, I mean, so there's a lot of good plays on this slate since it is a 10 gamer. So, I suggest doing at least three. Next up, DeJounte Murray, 6.9K. All honesty, he could be 7.5 and that's still playing. Uh, LaMarcus Aldridge should be out. So, it's just more production for him. Derek White should be back, though. That's the only thing that concerns me, but not so much. I think that that affects other people more than DeJounte Murray, guys. 34 minutes last game, 49 fantasy points, yo. Against the Lakers, he gets them again, so got to go right back there. Next up, Drew Holiday. The only thing that scares me is the shutout, or the shutout. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be something they got shut out, is the blowout. Last game didn't do so hot. 33 minutes, 33 fantasy points. But 6-6 six, six is really cheap for Drew Holiday. Same price on Fandle. Um, it's a great matchup against Chicago. So I think his ownership will be low too because that's just a price point. It's just hard to get to. Next up, Bogdan Bogdanovich, guys. So uh, Gallinari's out. Um, Raj Rondo's out. I think Bogdan here gets the start, guys, at 5.4K. This is going to be a fun game to watch and to play, guys. Get as much of this game as you can. Play 28 minutes last game, 34 fantasy points. 30 minutes, 34 fantasy points. Money in the bank, guys. Get him in there. Next up, Ricky Rubio. If he gets a start again at 5.2K, absolutely freaking lutely, especially for that price. $100 more on FanDuel. If he gets 25 to 30 minutes, he can easily get you 30 or more. You know his upside is through the roof. History against Washington, 35, 25, 29, 31, 34. 21% um, usage rate last game, too. That's really good. So, Ricky Rubio, if he starts at 5-2, get him in there. Next up, Jordan Clarkson. Good, you know, value play as usual. He's only 4.8K. He gets you at mid to upper 20s fantasy points every single game. It doesn't matter if he plays 19 or 25 minutes. He still gets it done. So a little salary relief there at 4.8K. You can get him in there. Um, let's see. Monty Morris against Phoenix. Uh, I don't think we got to go there. Um, let me take him off there. Luka Doncic, no. He, just, he came out and said that he was out of shape. That's why he's playing like dog shit, but no. I think we can do better this late. Jimmy Bucket should be back at 7.8K. Um, no. A lot of people are on D'Angelo Russell. Have fun with that. I'm not going anywhere near D'Angelo Russell. Not for 7.5K. No thank you. I don't give a damn if Cat is out. He's just not D'Angelo Russell that he was when he was with Brooklyn. Sorry. Uh, Lou Williams at 4.9K. He's under 5K. I like it. He gets 20 minutes a game. Um, 26, 31 is last two. So we're, he's looking like the old sweet Lou. So has some potential here, guys, at 4.9K. Sorry if I feel like I'm going a little fast. It's just a 10-game slate. It's a lot of players to get to. So, And I don't want to do a 45-minute video. So if you're taking notes, don't you dare be sour. Just write them down or hit pause, whatever. You already know. Uh, Jeff Teague, if he gets to start again. 4.2K is not bad. He, even though, you know, he gets to start or if he comes off the bench, he'll still play around 20 to 21 minutes. Um, but if his shots are falling, he does have 30-point fantasy point potential. So, Jeff Teague at 4.2K, you can definitely get him in there. So, no Russell Westbrook, 
Raul Neto is 3.4K. $1,100 more on FanDuel. So definitely a DraftKings value play that you can pretty much count on. Um, was it last time? I think it was that 32-minute game, and he got 41 fantasy points. Yeah. That was the last time he filled in for Russell Westbrook. So DraftKings kind of dropped the ball here on the price tag. So get him in there. Raul Neto. I call him the Neto wafer. You guys remember those candies that taste like ass? It's like chalk. Yeah. All right, Schroeder, you can come back up. Next up, Desmond Bain. Especially if this kid, like, gets a start. He got 31 minutes last game, 26 fantasy points. I mean, not bad value. If if he gets some decent run with Memphis, man, I'm telling you, this should be a competitive game, too. Memphis and Charlotte. I know Memphis got blown out last game, but still. Um, Desmond Bain, someone to keep an eye on. We'll wait for some news during the during the day tomorrow. And I think that's it. I think Space called him out for that last slate. So that was a very good call on our members only podcast from DFS Space calling that one out. That's pretty good, man. Uh, next up, so shooting guard. We got Bradley Beal with no Westbrook at 9-4 is a very fine play. Um, you know his upside, guys. He's got last time he played Minnesota. Look at his look at his history against Minnesota. 68, 32, 67, 51, and a 30 burger. Great play here. Bradley Bill at 9.4K. Get him in there. And next up, a lot of people don't like him, but I do. Andrew Williams, guys. I know even Draymond's going to be back, but still, this game should be close. He's under 7K. I can get with that. 50 and a 39 in his last two. Steph Curry cannot do it all by himself. So, a little, a little Wiggins, you know, in your lineups is not too shabby. 26% usage rate last game, guys. Yeah, 39, 48, 37, 34, 42. Great history against Portland. Get him in there. Sneaky, sneaky. All the people playing D'Angelo Russell play Wiggins. How's that? Next up, Dylan Garth Brooks. Garth Brooks' is long lost son here. 6.3K. Had a horrible game last game, but they got blown out. Everybody on this Memphis team had a horrible game. Um, I think he goes overlooked because of that last game. This is Dylan freaking Brooks, guys. The guy who gets 35 minutes and got 43 fantasy points two games ago. So get him in there, guys. Dylan Brooks, 6.3K, a.k.a. Garth Brooks. So next up, Josh Jackson with no uh, Blake Griffin. Get him in there. He'll, he'll get the start at 5-2. Um, dude's been balling when he gets his opportunities, man. 29, 28 minutes is last to 33 40 fantasy points had a 25 cent is all josh jackson don't sleep on him at five two let's see next up devin booker so i called him on my members only podcast today i'm like look guys he's been playing like absolute dog shit um you'll probably get him at a very very low ownership and it paid off i think he got 40 burger 39 fantasy points um at very low ownership guys that's how we won some money tonight he had 34 percent usage rate Played 35 minutes. So I don't mind going back here because he's cheap. He's only 8K. Remember, they had him. He was like 9.5K, not like a couple games ago. So Devin Booker T, five times, five times. He'll do a spin Rooney out there. And his upside is 50 or 60. So get him in there, guys, at 8K, at very low ownership. Um, next up, Josh Richardson. I don't mind because he's so cheap. He's 4.9K. Came back from an injury, played 26 minutes. 11 fantasy points. Had a bad game. It happens. Other than that, he's good for about 28 to 30 fantasy points. And at 4-9, while Luka's struggling, Josh Richardson could pick up the slack, guys. Get him in there at 4.9K. All right, we already went over Teague, Neto, Wafers, Bane. Sound like a goddamn Batman um, bad guy. Let's go to small forward. Villain, sorry guys, villain is the proper term. Okay, so DeMar DeRozan, the DeRozan one, 7.3K. This man's still way too cheap. Going up against the Lakers, guys. 36 minutes last game, 42 fantasy points. That's what he got. So it's, a, it's basically a back to back against his team. So 7 3 DeRozan, solid. Get him in there. Next up, Gordon Hayward finally had that floor game. He got it out of the way. 
This should be a close game. I'm going back to the well here at 7.1K. Hopefully that'll drive his ownership down. Um, solid, man. He's got 50-point upside this year. 25, 49, 33, 46. So 7 1, it's not really taking a, a big risk here. So Gordon Hayward, get him in there. And again, guys, I think a lot of people are going to shy away from Jeremy Grant this late because one, no Blake Griffin. That's a good thing, but he's 6.8. So now it's getting real with Jeremy Grant. Now it's getting serious. But you cannot deny what he's doing right now. Plays damn near 40 minutes a game. 37, 37, 42 minutes, 47, 40, 53 fantasy points, guys. I think a lot of people will not play him because of that 6 8 price tag, but I will definitely play him and get that low ownership. Jeremy Grant at 6.8 is solid. Get him in there. Let's see. Jay Crowder's not bad in the 4K range, 4.9K. Um, he's got, he's been, you know, doing his last two games, especially 33, 30 fantasy points. Um, comes off the bench, you know, 36, 20, 25 minutes. So keep your eye on Jay Crowder for another sneaky, sneaky low percentage uh, GBP play, guys. Otto Porter should get the start again. He's 5.6K, too cheap. You got 30 minutes. You got 58 fantasy points today. You played him in that early slate. I did on FanDuel. Cash nicely. So... Again, you just got to worry about the blowout here, but they're so damn shorthanded. They, they might be forced to play anyway. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, Auto Porter, 5.6K. Probably should be chalky, though. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, it's 2021, guys. So, if 2020 was bad for you, don't you dare be sour. Clap your hands and feel the power. Let's go to power forward, guys. It's a new year. Yes, it is. All right. Giannis Antipupu. What do I call him? Giannis Antipupu at 11K. You know, you can never fade him. Even if this game, what if this game stays close, right? I think his ownership will be low as it always is. Giannis is always in play, even at 11K, guys. Even if it's a blowout, they got to score points to get there, right? Um, KD went up to 9-1. So, yeah. But it's against them Hawks again where he got 63 fantasy points last time. Right? So, you know his upside. He can get 70. He could. 34 minutes. Get him in there, guys. I know there's a lot, a lot of good plays for these studs. Um, It's kind of hard, you know, to get off them. Bobby Portis. So the game does blow out. You got Bobby Portis at 4.5K. If it does blow out, he'll get about 26 minutes, get you about 25 to 33 fantasy points. So Bobby Portis is definitely in play at 4.5, especially in GPPs, guys. Uh, John Collins. Sound like a goddamn your granddaddy's mixed drink. I'll take a John Collins on the rocks, please. Bartender. Everyone probably drank a lot of those tonight. Um, he's 7.2K. Got in a little foul trouble early last game, but that's okay. He didn't foul out. Um, played 30 minutes, 48 fantasy points. I know Capella's, you know, in the mix, but it's a great matchup against Brooklyn, guys. Again, 48 fantasy points. And then before that, a 56 against them. So we'll see, guys. Um, I'm going to look at what the ownership is tomorrow, and then I'll pull the trigger. We'll see. Um, where he went over, Otto Porter. Auto pop, auto pop. That is young. 3.5K. Way too cheap. 27 minutes, 31 fantasy points. He should get the start again, guys. 3.5K. Get him in there. <laughs> Even if it does blow out. I mean, hell, 3.5K. And this is the value we know we have the night before. Just, just think what we'll find out tomorrow, right? So let's go to center. Lots of plays at center, as usual. You got the GOAT, Nikolai Jokic, 10.6K. This man is unstoppable. 60, 71, 52, 75, 25. One of my favorite pay-up options, guys. Uh, there is blowout risk here, too, but god damn. He's on another level. He's on another planet right now. Great matchup against Aiton, guys. Jokic, get him in there. 
I ain't messing with these Lakers no more. Anthony Davis can kiss the tip. Uh, Jonas Valachunas, 8.3K. Another great matchup against Charlotte, guys. Um, he should get about 30 minutes. I don't know why he only got 24. Actually, I do. It's the blow. So, game stays close. He'll probably get 30, 35 to 39 minutes, guys. And I think he'll be low owned. And 8.3K, Joe Val. Get him in there. Next up, Rudy Gobert is always safe. Like I always say, every every video, Rudy Gobert, right? Because for 7.4K, guys, he's giving you 40-point games. He's gotten over 40 fantasy points in his last four games. 41, 42, 44, 47, guys. So get him in there. The Bear, Rudy Gobert. Next up, Jared Allen at 5'8 is pretty good. I just want to get a lot of exposure to this game. Um, splits minutes with DeAndre Jordan. But I think he's the better player. I think he gets more rebounds. Um, 24 minutes last game, 33 fantasy points. So a pretty safe play in that 5K range. Sergi Baca, because you know why he ain't Kaka. 5.4K. Hey, he's gotten, even though he comes off the bench, he's gotten over 30 fantasy points in his last two. And then he got a 28 before that. So his three points are dropping. He'll be hopping. 23, 21, 19. So the minutes just aren't there for me. But the scoring is, and again, then threes. Last time he faced Utah, he got 50 fantasy points. 5-0, 50 burger. So look for a low on Serge Ibaka and Kaka at 5.4K. Okay, let's see. Uh, DeAndre Ayton's down to 7K, but... Another disappointment this year. Thomas Bryant is 6.3K. Should have a great game. Gets 30-plus minutes a game, which is rare with these Washington centers, right? Got 41 fantasy points. So look for another great – I mean, who's going to stop him? Minnesota doesn't have Cat. So Thomas Bryant is going to get a ton of rebounds, tons of, like, putbacks. Um, maybe even some assists, guys. Thomas Bryant, sneaky, sneaky at 6.3K, $500 cheaper on Vandal. Next up, again, Mason Plumley with no Blake Griffin, guys. 5.7 is really cheap. $500 more on Vandal. He had a bad game, played 24 minutes, 18 fantasy points. But before that, man, he was balling out. 39, 29, 33 in his last three. Going up against Boston. Get him in there. I mean, that's really cheap, guys. For someone you know is going to start and should get at least 30 minutes. Next up, Jakob Podol at 4.5K. I think he gets to start again. He'll probably get mid-20s minutes again. Now, he got in a little foul trouble himself early in the game. So, that's why his minutes really weren't there. But he's a points-per-minute monster, guys. I think you can give him another nod at 4.5K if you want to pay down at center. He's only center eligible on DraftKings. All right. so. That's going to do it. So let's go over real quick, real quick. Since I didn't take as much time as I thought, let's go to lineup optimizer. Let's see if we can't put something together real quick, guys. It's not a final lineup, guys. I'm just showing you an example of what Draft Dashboard does. And it just spits out. You can do 150 lineups, transfer them right to DraftKings, guys. So you can do a GBP and a cash lineup. So what were my core plays? I like... Yo kick. Uh, I like Josh Jackson in there. Um, so we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go, I think, stars and stars and scrubs, right? Uh Kyrie, DeJounte Murray, Ricky Rubio's good, sweet Lou, Jeff Teague, Desmond Bain, three seven, so Neto, right? We know Neto's gonna start, he's gonna get the minutes. Um, we're still 3k over, no worries. Booker T is only 8K. Remember that, guys. Dylan Brooks is only 6'3". Uh, Teague. Let's try Let's try Dylan Brooks. I think he's going to bounce back nicely. Power forward. Don't you dare be sour. I know, guys. I know. Otto Porter solid. Jay Crowder solid. I'm going to go Bobby Portis. I think the game might get out of hand. So, okay, we're still good. We're still good. We got DeRozan and Wiggins in here. Let's go to our utility spot. Who can we who can we afford here? 
All right, so we're going to put Jared Allen, Mason Plumley, Otto Porter, Sergi Baca, Bogdan Bogdanovich. Kind of like that Bogdan play. So now we're under. So if we wanted to pay up here from, from DeRozan or Wiggins, we can. But this looks pretty good to me. So it's just, just an early look example, guys. Neto, Dylan Brooks, Josh Jackson, Bobby Portis, Jokic, Wiggins, DeRozan, Bogdanovich. Let's say you wanted to do get a little bit more of the than Brooklyn guys, right? So we'll leave we'll leave Neto in there. Um, I'm just not on Jalen Brown, guys. We can do Beal, but yeah, let's go back. Let's get Kyrie 9.3k here. So we got Kyrie. I'm just I'm I'm doing these on the fly, guys. What's what's happening? Um Neto. I think Neto wafers pretty much a lock. Josh Jackson, I can't get away from that. Um we can pay down here. I'm kind of liking Jonas Valanciunas. So we're only $300 over now. So this is with Kyrie, Bobby Portis. Let's try and get Durant. Let's see what. It, let's see if we can pull this off. So we can pay down here. We got. We got to get Durant in here, guys. Drew Holiday six six. Dylan Brooks six three. Ricky Rubio, 5'2". It's a fine play. Teague is only 4'2". How about Teague? Let's say he gets a start. So now we need to save 2K. No problem. Absolutely no problem. Jeremy Grant. Oh, God, I love that play. Okay, now I got to save at least 1,700. Let's see if we can make this happen, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can. Of course we can. Look, Thaddeus Young right here. This is the why we have all this value. So Kyrie Irvin, Nieto, Josh Jackson, Kevin Durant, Jonas Valanciunas, Jeff Teague, Jeremy Grant, Thaddeus Young. I'll save that for my draft dashboard users, guys. You guys want to play these lines, I encourage it. One time I posted a line on here, and it, it, it took down the Millie Maker, and I didn't play it. Of course I didn't play it, right? But my, the people that watch the video sure as hell let me know that that line took down. One of the things that will haunt me for the rest of my life, let me tell you. So don't forget, guys, DFSclub.com. This is your last chance to get these prices before they are gone forever. You're locked into these prices, all right? $10 a month, $39.99 for six months, and $70 for a year. That's 53% off. 44% off, and then monthly is 60% off. Or you can try us out for three days. But I recommend you take advantage of these prices, guys. Um, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button, please. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. I want to try to get to at least 5K subscribers by the end of this month. I'm at 4.7 now. I think we can do it, guys. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Tell, tell everybody. Check out Skywalker. I got some really cool background shots of Darth Maul and some other cool fictional characters. But, uh, yeah, guys, it's 2021. Let's go. This is going to be the year of takedowns. I already have one takedown. Happened two days ago. I'm ready for the next one. We got myself. We got DFS Space. We got LT in there. We got Sicko Mamba in there. We got some, we got some heavy hitters. So I'm going to say a prayer for you guys. It's a new year. And we're blessed to be every day above ground is a blessed day. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. Say it with me, guys. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. My name is Gabriel Skywalker. I love you guys. Happy New Year. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.